Hey guys, we are here for another uh, Monday with Deco Art Challenge, and we are going to make some tags. Generally speaking, as you all know, I usually fast forward through these videos uh, for the most part. We're not going to really do that today. Um, I'm just looking for a gel pen, something light in color. We might have to try a couple of things on a scrap piece of paper. I have all these gel pens, like I'm sure you all do also, and you know, you we don't use them often enough, right? So, I picked out a few kind of light colors and then the gray. And I've got these tags. Now these tags I bought a long time ago from a paper supplier, and I don't remember the name of the company but it was a wholesale place and these tags are like die cut without they don't have the whole reinforcer so they're nice and flat and great for what I think we're going to do which is we're going to do some stamping I'm going to use this paper just for a background and that way if I do some over stamping it'll get on the paper um, not that if I care if it gets on the canvas obviously <laughs> but um, uh, you know I'm not might not be using waterproof ink and I don't want my next project that's um, on the table here to get ink all over it. So, um, so there, that, that, there you have it. So we're going to start with a gel pen, and I'm going to um, let's see. I'm going to start with the gray. I kind of like the gray, and I'm going to just do some journaling in the background. Um, nothing that's going to really make any sense, and I'm going to write it really messy. I've got six tags here, so I'm going to do all six of them, and I'm going to gift some or all of them uh, in some racks coming up. So let's see. Um, okay, and let's switch colors. They're, I want them to each be a little bit different. It's more about putting the texture on the back of the tag than it is actually having it be readable or even spelled correctly. And these pens have been sitting for a while, so that's why I'm going to keep making sure they actually still write on the paper here. Okay, and let's... I want to do white on this one, I think. Okay. And I'm going to have one color that repeats itself. I think it's going to be the white. Just write whatever first comes to your mind. I'll cap all the pens so they don't dry out. Because that would be bad. Very bad. <laughs> okay. Let's do one more. have our tags with some texture on them. So let's let the gel pen dry and let's go back to the first one. I like this one. All right, I've got my distress inks out. I've got some water. I've got, I in the drawer of distress inks, I also have distress reinkers. So I think I want to start with the reinkers. I want to start with a light color. And I don't remember how light these colors are, so. Oh, see, this one's never even been opened. Antique linen might work. I want something really light. There we go. Put 
again, we're going to test it on the paper. Well, it's not, not horrible, but it's not exactly what I wanted. I'm sure this is really exciting watching me open rain curry bottles. <laughs> okay, let's get this one open. This one is tumbled glass. I don't know why the heck these have to be so hard to open. I know they're trying to keep them from spilling during shipping, but there should be like a pull tab or something. Because it's really like they don't want you to get in there. Okay. Kind of like the tumbled glass. I kind of like both of them, so. All right, so we're going to do, this is what we're gonna do. We're going to spray the tag a little bit and then we're going to dribble some ink on there. More water. Need a brush. Of course I need a brush. creating background, right? Some texture and drama to our um, tag. Now, if you feel like it's too dark, you know, you can always lift a little bit of it up with a rag, right? You can dry it with a heat gun. I've got a few more of these to do, obviously, so we're going to just set it aside. If when we get done with the last one, it's not completely dry, then we'll um, get in there with a heat gun. Put that in there. And let's go in with the, what one is this? Antique linen. with our brush so be just be careful about you know getting it too wet because these tag these tags are not watercolor paper these are just regular cardstock so if you get it too wet it's gonna not be good I love this sparkly blue gel um, gel pen it's fabulous lovely color I don't even know if you can see that it's sparkly on camera. Okay, I love that. Love that too. They're looking so good. All right, got three more. We're just going to keep alternating colors here until we get to the last tag. So pick, you know, you could pick a different color for each tag. Pick something light, not too dark, and whatever color you pick, spread it out with water. You could use paint for this, watered down. You could use fluid acrylics. Um, if you have reinkers, use them. You could use um, ink sprays if you have some sprays. Had these tags for like a million years so it's about time I use them up and do something with them. So by the time you see this I will be out of town again in Lake Tahoe, California. Well Nevada actually technically I'm going to be in the Nevada side. And don't forget to catch the other, my design team members are also making tags. Their video links will be in the description below. And um, don't forget to go over and show their channel some love and watch them, get some ideas. 
some months when we do the design team talent challenges it seems like we all have the same idea and other months we all have different ideas so we don't plan these things we try to keep it as organic as possible I like that okay I don't think we need the spray bottle anymore but what we do need to do is dry all of this so we're going to get down the, the embossing tool and let's give everything a dry shall we Okay, sorry about the glare on the acrylic block. Um, so we have our tags here and they're all dry. I didn't make you guys watch the drying time. <laughs> um, and they already look interesting, right? All right, so we're gonna take them again one at a time and we're going to continue layering our background. And first we're gonna pick out some stamps. This, these are all of my stamps, my designs from the very first couple of collections all the way through to the current ones. And I'm going to pick something for my background to continue to add to the background, right? I go to this set a lot. I really like these stamps. They're great background stamps. I think I want to use the arrows. Let's see. Let's grab the arrows out of here. And... Let's grab this circle one. It looks like an orange slice. Let's use that. Maybe this one. It seems to want to come out too, so we'll use that. We'll go with that right now. All right, so we're going to put them on our block here in sort of a random-ish collection of shapes. Maybe we need a different one of these. Let's see. Let's just pull this whole set out, why don't we? Because it seems to want to come out anyway. You can get my stamps. Um, when you order them, they come unmounted uh, on a red, deep etched red rubber. You can order them special order, um, cling like this, or you can get wood mount. Um, you have to message me and um, let me know that you want that. I'm just looking at it here to see. No, I think I like this. Let's see. My cling stamps are dirty, that's why they keep falling off. <laughs> I'm really bad about cleaning them. Okay, I really like that layout, so we're going to go with that. And we are going to stamp our backgrounds of our tags. And we're going to use, I think, the same couple of colors. I have my mini stamp pads here in which I have all of the colors. Well, up to a point. Um, I don't have any 2016 colors. Um, this is the tumbled glass. And what was the other one? Antique linen. Let's see. There we go. Right on top. Antique linen. Let's see. No, that's too well. I like that yellow color. I don't know. Maybe we should use the yellow color. I'm kind of liking that yellow. We put the antique linen away and we use the yellow color then what should we use we could use the yellow on the blue ones and then what about we could use the tumbled glass on the ones with the antique linen well, let's do that let's let's try it shall we okay so i'm just going to ink my stamps here try to get them all good and inky but this is a background we're doing it in another kind of lightish color with the idea that this is a background and this is not the focal point it's just to add texture and interest to the background of our tag and you could do this, definitely do this on a journal page. You don't need tons of stamps. One collection of stamps and a couple of ink pads is all it takes. I'm going to turn it this way. And we are going to push. Ooh, I like that. That is cool. Okay, let's do that again, shall we? 
Um, let's do all of the blue tags first, and then we'll clean the stamps off. I like distressing because it comes in like a million little colors, plus they have these little tiny stamp, um, these stamping spots that it's a, an affordable way to get a whole bunch of colors of ink without spending a fortune. And again, this is scattered straw. One more time. Fabulous. All right, let's give our stamps a quick clean. Not that I'm obviously very great about cleaning my stamps because I'm not. But we do want the um, tumbled glass ink to stay mostly blue and <laughs> not mix too much with the scattered straw. All right. Dry that off a bit. And we'll recap this one and we will put it back in our case. I decided I couldn't buy any more of these little spots because my case is full. So he may come out with new colors, but I can't buy them. My case is full. <laughs> so this is the other one, tumbled glass, the blue color. Oh yeah, that's pretty. All right, one more, two more. Let's do it again, shall we? You could switch it up and you could use any of the stamps for this. You just wanna build up your color slowly, probably keep them light, So, and then you, whatever your final image or words are, um, stamp those in the darkest color, probably black. I can't wait to see what the other girls come up with for their tags. Okay, put that back in here. Okay, look at that, nice. All right, I threw my baby whip in the trash tonight. I need that. Okay. Oops. So all of my stamps are available in the Etsy shop. Let's see. So if your stamps, you're suddenly having trouble with them sticking, oops, they're probably, the cling side is probably um, dirty. Mine are always dirty. <laughs> Just FYI, <laughs> they always are dirty. But I really prefer cling stamps because they're easier to store. So let's put these away before we grab any other stamps. Make sure I put it away right side up so I can read the words that are part of this stamp set. And you notice when I flipped it over, nothing fell off. That's because I cleaned. Okay, so now we're going to pick out some stamps for the focal point. 
And I think I'm thinking I want to use this set. It's the one that comes immediately to mind for me. So I think we're going to go with that. Oops. So these are our doodle girls. All of these again are in my Etsy shop. As of the filming of this, which is August 9th, everything is in stock. If for some reason when you place your order, items are not in stock, they will be shortly. Um, I do allow processing time for that. Usually things go out within a couple of days, um, but I do allow in the listing it says um, two weeks um, just in case um, things aren't in stock. So I think we're going to use one of the girl heads here. And let's see. And one of the words. Yeah. So I have words as part of some of the st new stamp sets for this year. So we're going to do these two. This is black archival ink. So we're going to get our, our stamp good and inky with the black ink. You want your tag to be dry. You don't want it to be wet because for this you want a nice sharp clear impression. line it up and push. Hopefully it's going to come out straight. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. I should probably be standing up so I can see what I'm doing. Yep. Okay. These are a great easy quick thing to do to gift to friends or to make, um, you know, gift tags for packages. Um, you could um, do these for Christmas, the holidays coming up, Christmas or whatever other winter holidays you celebrate. Birthdays, you could have a stock of them. And if you have, if you're like me and you have a section of your spare closet that has wrapping paper and stuff in it, you could just have a bunch of these that are over there that you can just grab one and use it as a gift tag on a bag or a package. One more, no, two more. Okay. Fabulous. I'll put our re-inkers away and get things out of my way. We're going to need a couple of those gel pens back again. I'm going to grab the white. And let's see. I have a light pink. I know I do. <clears throat> I have so many gel pens. Oh, here we go. Wait, I see it. I see it. I see it. I want this one back again, which is the blue green color that we used on the background. Okay, so now I'm going to zoom in. And I'll show you what we're going to do. So I'm going to take the white one and my reading glasses <laughs> so that I can see what I'm doing. Holy moly. Okay, so in the word here, there's a bunch of, let's see, I think we need to zoom in more. There we go. In the word here, I've got these little dots that I've doodled in the word, so we're going to go in and with white gel pen. It'll, it'll accent the word and help it pop out from the background. And if you go up here and you look at the girl, there's some black 
um, dots, but we're going to color them in white. We're going to, oh, there's two up here above her eyebrow. I'm going to put a white dot in her eye. I'm going to take this little light pink color and I think we're going to add some of it to her lips. This is the blue one. We're not looking to color all of her in, we're just looking to accent the stamped image so that she stands out a little bit better. Yeah. I like that. All right, so we're gonna do the rest of them. Let me zoom back out. So just put on your favorite music, don't think about it too much, have some fun, create some tags, hopefully buy some of my stamps, that would be nice. You can't see it but I'm smiling as I'm saying that, okay. Do that to each one of your tags. And probably things like the white gel pen, they're going to show up better if your background is darker. And if you don't want to make your background darker, then start with a darker cardstock. Before any of you ask me, this is a souffle pen. Uh, it says XPGB929. This one is also a souffle pen and it says XPGB920. And this is a jelly roll, a white jelly roll pen. The next thing I want to do uh, and final step is do something uh, with the border. I like I do like to give my tags a border. Um, so look around and you could use more ink. You could use paint. You could use um, some gel crayons if you have them. I might use gel crayons. I've got a bunch of different kinds of gel crayons. They might be fun. And like I said before, the um, white gel pen is going to show up better on a darker paper. It's definitely, this is a white tag, so that's definitely, what I said about that's definitely true. You can kind of see it's there, but still looks cool. Maybe you can't afford to get any new stamps right now. Um, you can do tags like this with what you have in your stock. Of course, I would love it if you bought my stamps, but I understand if it's not in the budget. 
uh, all of these designs and a few others are available as digital downloads. Um, so if you can't afford the stamp sets, you can go buy digital downloads, and you could, you know, print them on the tag, and then color it in. Okay, one more. These are turning out really cuter than I was imagining them to turn out. So here's another white tag, and you can see the white gel pen where there's other ink in the background and, it, and the paper's no longer white. Where it's still white, you aren't going to really be able to see the white gel pen. Up here you can see it because it there's black. I'm just putting it where the black, it, the black dots already were. pink. I love this pink color. I bought these gel pens years ago when I was taking my first official mixed media class with Tracy Bautista. I'm actually surprised they're not dried up. <laughs> All right, let's cap them before they do dry up now that I said that. <clears throat> and let's get out our recollections uh, watercolor crayons you could also use distress distress crayons or gelatos depending on what you have I have these and I really like them so I want to use them Ooh, now the question is what color do I want hmm maybe I want to do each one in a different color that's possible maybe I want to do them all in the silver see maybe maybe I don't want to use these maybe because they're metallic I do do I don't want to do black that I do know I have lots of gel crayons so it's really just a matter of getting off my butt and picking a color you know I have a turquoise gelato is it metallic? I don't think so. So this, what color is this one? This is a Faber-Castell Gelato Snow Cone. That's kind of a nice color. Let's try that on this tag. I just wasn't sure I wanted, these are all metallic and I wasn't sure I wanted anything metallic on here. Now I'm going to take my baby wipe and I'm going to try not to get anything more than the gelato wet, but the gelatos will move around with water. Yeah, this was a good color choice. It's, um, I was tempted to do black, but if you do black, then it's going to take away from the focal image and that is perfect. I love that. All right, let's do the other ones. This is something else I've had for a long time and I don't use nearly enough. You know, if you get nothing else out of this video, I want you to pull those supplies out of the recesses of your art room that you've had and that you bought and that you maybe at first were using a lot, but now you've forgotten about them and they're just sitting gathering dust, maybe drying up. Um, break them out and let's use them because what did we buy them for if we weren't going to use them? And I'm going to just do, you know, if you're doing a big batch of these, and you're especially if you're doing them for uh, racking or gift giving, um, happy mail, um, and you need to do them quickly, just do a whole bunch of the same or similar designs. Um, and you can do, you know, two or three batches like that and then mix them up when you send them out. I try to remember to like sign the back or put a note on the back of 
when I do things like this because um, in the past I was pretty bad about remembering to sign my work and some of that work has since gone out in <laughs> mystery boxes and I still forgot to sign it um, so if you are one of those and you got something like that from me send it back I, I will sign it and I will return it to you probably with free more free goodies but sign your work, put a little note on the back. If you're doing one of these tags, put a little note on the back to the recipient, and that way they can remember always, especially if they have a bad memory like I do, who they got it from and when. Don't forget to date it. And if we all did little tags this month and sent them out of racks, if you get enough of them, then you can make a little, a little journal out of all the tags. And you could just um, attach them by the ring at the top, and then you have the notes from who they're from on the back. So there we have it. There is one fun way to do some fun tags with a few stamps and some ink and a gel pen. So have fun with it, and don't forget the most important thing. Go out and, and have a great day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. Maybe do something nice for somebody else and send them out a tag. All right, that's it for right now, everybody. I'll talk to you later. Bye.